This tutorial is all about TLS 1.2 testing. In the very near future, and possibly currently, if you're watching this video a little later, you need to have TLS 1.2 available on your site, on your server, and through your payment gateway. Otherwise, payments will not be processed if you have some kind of shopping cart or e-commerce store on your site. So I'm gonna show you how to make sure that you do have TLS 1.2. It's super simple, it's a plugin. I'm gonna show you how it all works in this tutorial and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, for your business. And if you like WordPress, learning more about it, learning tips and tricks and hacks, this is the place you wanna be. And you wanna hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything when I publish new material for you. And you also should check out the half off hosting deal I've negotiated for you with InMotion Hosting. It's over half off or nearly half off for every single one of their hosting plans. The discounts vary based on the plan. Anyway, check that out in the description down below or the card above. And with that out of the way, let's start getting into this WordPress tutorial. Over the past few years, Payment gateways have been migrating to TLS 1.2 because it's more secure than 1.1 and 1.0, which have some major security vulnerabilities. But the, the point is they're moving to TLS 1.2 and you have to make sure that your site and your e-commerce platform is compatible. Now, if you're not selling stuff on your site, this doesn't apply to you. If you are selling stuff on your site, this may well apply to you and it may not depending on what your setup is, but you might as well just test your TLS 1.2 to see if you have that enabled on your server. To do that, there's a really simple plugin. We go to plugins and then add new. This plugin hasn't been updated in two years, but I've confirmed on multiple sites that it didn't break the site when I tried it. So I'm gonna show you what it is. I'm just gonna search for TLS 1.2. And it's this first one up here. I'm gonna click on install now. You should probably back up your site and your database before you do this on your live site, just to be safe. I did that on the sites I tested on, but nothing went wrong when I used the plugin. It's a really simple plugin, doesn't really update anything on the site, it just checks your server connection to PayPal and to something called How's My SSL, just to make sure you're running TLS 2.2. Once that's installed, there, under tools, there's a new option called TLS 1.2 test. When you go to that page, you're either gonna have good news or bad news. In this case, I have good news. TLS 1.2 is enabled. You can select a different endpoint down here. You can try on my SSL or how's my SSL. And if it works on PayPal, it should work on that one as well. Shows it as enabled for that endpoint. And it says here, if the PayPal test works, you should be able to connect to other APIs as well. Just to be sure, even if it says enabled, you can contact your gateway and your payment processor and what whoever else is in the intermediary, maybe you're using WooCommerce, contact WooCommerce support, just to make sure that everything is tickety-boo because if you don't have TLS 1.2 enabled, at some point in the very near future, you won't be able to process payments on your website, which is core to having an e-commerce site. So make sure you check this out sooner rather than later. So that's how it's done. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the half off hosting deal in the description down below or the card above. And then check out one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side to get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.